China's newest frigate, the Type 054 AG, Hull 519, is about to join the fleet, and it's far more than just another ship launch. It marks a powerful shift in how China expands its presence across the Western Pacific. In this video, we'll uncover how this vessel was designed, what innovations set it apart, and why it could quietly redefine modern maritime strategy for years to come. From 054A to 054AG The Type 054AG represents the next stage in China's ongoing effort to modernize its naval fleet without starting from scratch. Instead of designing an entirely new platform, Chinese engineers chose to take the proven Type 054A frigate, a design already tested through years of service, and refine it for a new era of maritime operations. The result is a vessel that looks familiar on the outside, but feels fundamentally re-engineered within its mission profile. The most visible change lies in its aviation facilities. The 054AG features a noticeably larger hangar and flight deck, expanding support for the Z-20 helicopter, which is heavier, faster, and has greater endurance than its predecessor, the Z-9. This means the frigate can now perform longer-range anti-submarine patrols, extended surveillance missions, and logistic transfers without depending on external bases. The Z-20's ability to deploy sonar buoys, sensors, and rescue gear transforms the ship into a more independent and multi-role asset. Forward of the bridge sits another key upgrade, the 100mm H-PJ-87 main gun, which replaces the older 76mm model. The larger caliber enhances range, accuracy, and versatility in surface engagements, and aligns the frigate's armament with newer destroyers like the Type 052DL. Complementing this, the 054AG maintains a 32-cell vertical launch system, VLS, 4HQ, 16 medium-range surface-to-air missiles, and U-8 rocket-assisted torpedoes, keeping its dual-layer defense intact. Beneath the surface, the ship retains its 4,000-ton displacement and CODAD, combined diesel and diesel, propulsion, capable of speeds near 27 knots, ensuring seamless integration with existing training, logistics, and supply systems. Radar configurations, such as the Type 382 dual-band 3D air search radar and Type 366 surface search system, remain reliable but are paired with new fixed-panel fire control emitters, which reduce maintenance and increase reaction speed. Altogether, the 054AG isn't a radical leap, it's a smart evolution. By blending cost-efficient engineering with real operational gains, China ensures that each frigate entering service is faster to build, easier to maintain, and capable of handling more complex missions than ever before. To understand why the Type 054AG matters, we have to look at the bigger picture, how China builds ships, not just what it builds. The commissioning of Frigate 519 isn't a single event. It's a sign of a synchronized industrial strategy designed for scale, efficiency, and continuity. Both Guangzhou's Huangpu Wenchong Shipyard and Shanghai's Hudong Zhonghua Shipyard have been working in tandem since 2024 to produce these vessels. For 054 AG frigates were launched almost simultaneously that year, a rare display of parallel production. The dual-yard approach ensures that even as one shipyard transitions to constructing newer 054B models, the other can keep delivering 054AG hulls without interrupting fleet growth. This parallel rhythm has become a hallmark of the People's Liberation Army Navy's modernization model, a rolling production line where every new batch benefits from lessons learned in the previous one. Each 054 AG costs an estimated 360 to 400 million US dollars, striking a careful balance between affordability and technology. For comparison, the Type 054 A was built for roughly 330 million, while the larger Type 054 B approaches 500 million per unit. By reusing much of the 054 as hull, propulsion system, and internal layout, Engineers kept costs under control while adding targeted improvements such as the new 100mm gun and the Z-20 ready hanger. This kind of incremental spending delivers maximum capability per yuan without needing entirely new infrastructure or retraining thousands of personnel. 
Satellite images from Chongqing Island also show whole sections of additional 054A Gs taking shape beside new 054B frigates and even the Type 076 amphibious assault ship. That level of co-production highlights how China's shipbuilding ecosystem functions like a maritime assembly network, modular, interconnected, and constantly active. The 054 AG's production isn't just about quantity. It's about keeping the industrial rhythm steady while transitioning toward next-generation ships. In practical terms, it ensures that the plan maintains a continuous flow of capable escort vessels, filling the time gap before the more advanced 054B class is ready for mass production. That balance between progress and productivity is precisely what gives China's shipbuilding effort its unmatched momentum. The Type 054 AG Frigate 519 isn't just a ship, it's a statement of long-term intent. Its arrival enhances how China maintains presence, conducts patrols, and supports cooperative maritime operations across the Western Pacific. Sources indicate that many of the 054 AG frigates will serve under the Eastern and Southern Theater Navies, areas that include the Taiwan Strait and South China Sea corridors regions requiring sustained patrols and frequent escort missions. Here, endurance and versatility matter more than size. The enlarged hangar and integration of the Z-20 helicopter allow the 054 AG to operate independently for extended periods, offering broader anti-submarine coverage and longer-range surveillance. With its 32-cell VLS system launching HQ, 16 air defense missiles, and U-8 ASW rockets, the frigate can defend itself and its group from a variety of threats while providing a protective umbrella for larger vessels, such as supply ships or survey craft. Meanwhile, its twin quadruple launchers for YJ-83 anti-ship missiles offer precision strike options over considerable distance. Paired with close-in defense from Type 1130 CIWS systems, the ship achieves a well-layered defensive architecture without needing entirely new electronic suites. Its sensor array combines proven technologies with incremental enhancements. The Type 382 3D radar handles air and surface tracking, while the Type 345 fire control radar has been replaced by fixed emitters that reduce mechanical failure and simplify repairs. Altogether, this gives the frigate consistent situational awareness and compatibility with existing command networks. Operationally, the 054 AG fills a crucial gap between corvettes and destroyers. It has the endurance for blue water tasks, but is cost-effective enough to deploy in numbers for routine missions. It's optimized for anti-submarine and escort roles rather than high-end combat, ensuring steady maritime coverage without draining resources. The 054 AG thus acts as the fleet's connective tissue linking larger flagships with smaller patrol craft in a coordinated presence pattern throughout the Pacific theater. By introducing these frigates in measured batches, China keeps its maritime architecture balanced and adaptable. The commissioning of the Type 054 AG frigate 519 marks a subtle but significant milestone in China's maritime evolution. It's not about dramatic unveilings or record-breaking size. It's about building smarter, faster, and with purpose. The 054 AG proves that technological progress doesn't always come from radical reinvention. Sometimes, it's the steady rhythm of improvement that reshapes a Navy's future. This frigate represents a blend of reliability and innovation. By keeping the 4,000-ton hull and trusted propulsion system, China avoids unnecessary complexity. Yet through upgrades like the Z-20 helicopter capability, enhanced radar array, and 100mm main gun, it ensures every new hull adds measurable value. The result is a platform built for endurance, versatility, and continuous adaptation. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.